Hey guys, today I wanted to show you my wood pile, uh, my wood chip pile, and my 10 year progress on my Back to Eden backyard. As you see, we have a love affair with wood. This is for burning in the wood stove. And again, the wood chips for bedding for animals and also for paths in the garden. I use a pitchfork and a little otter sled for my moving of the wood mulch. Sometimes I pay for the mulch, sometimes I get it for free, but I do like to have quite a bit on hand. Um, I'm gonna show you how I load it up. And I don't like a wheelbarrow as much as I like the otter sled. I don't know why, just have it maybe. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's done. It is about eight inches deep. And mind you, this is an eight, 10, this is a 10 year, somewhere between eight and 10, because different parts of the property, I mulched differently depending on what I had available. So you can see here, we have a few weeds popping up and it looks a little bit hard packed. This space has had tons and tons and tons of mulch put on it, but we are in a drought. And so the more mulch I can put on it, the better, because then whatever water I put in stays in. And even though I've been putting on mulch for years, it wears away. It turns into soil over time. This is where I dump most of my chicken and duck bedding that comes out of the chicken and duck house. So this actually has tons of mulch on it, but it doesn't have the wood chips. It's broken down more into dirt, so I would like to cover this more with wood chips. Even though it has wood chips on it, I want a little more. This one I just mulched with weeds. Tiny little weeds that were growing in here. You can see we've got plenty of cherries, plenty of raspberries and everything. Grapes are growing here. Gobo burdock. And then I have strawberries in there. So what I've done is I pulled up all my weeds and just laid them down to die and mulch that space. This space has kind of gone crazy this year. I didn't plant into this hotbed <laughs> and it turned into sunflower and willow heaven. So I need to, uh, Cut all of this back before I put any mulch on it. It is very, very heavily mulched. This is actually a space that doesn't need to be mulched as far as holding moisture in. But um, it does need, I've cut this back so many times this year. Uh, all this can be fed to goats and pigs, so it won't be wasted. Again, everything from underneath the rabbits is sacred and goes to brambles around anything that would get sad from ducks eating too much all right so that is the back to eden garden i don't use back to eden for vegetables i just don't have very good success with back to eden for vegetables too many slugs without the ducks being able to get in and eat slugs and eat weeds it just doesn't work any vegetables i put in the ground just get decimated by insects so this is part of my living fence situation I have quite a bit in here that I will cut back in the fall, but right now it's feeding bees, so I'm not going to take it down, and that's motherwort. The bees really love the motherwort this time of year. It blossoms for a very long time. So um, a lot of the disorder that you see right now, as far as the vegetation goes, is for bees. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you're going to do deep mulch, you need ducks because ducks will keep your insects down, they'll keep your weeds down, and they will fertilize your trees. And if you have ducks, you need a couple chickens to go back in and kind of fluff things back up after they pack everything down and poop on it. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll talk to you later. What are you doing? Are you just chilling? Oh, you're both just chilling.
are you doing, Mom and Doc? I don't know if anybody can even see you. There you are. Hi, guys. This is my irritating kitty that has already, already been fed. Yes, you have already been fed. There's another cat. 